Bet you think you've won, don't ya? <laughs> so naive! This is my home turf. I'll let you in on a little secret. A long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. What makes it so special is that if you tear one piece, the other piece starts tearing too. Uh, Newsflash, don't care about your cute little origami obsession. You better stay where you are and let me finish. Aren't you curious what the other piece is used for? I'll tell you. It's now the critical component of a mechanism, and when it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke! Yeah, the whole hideout is rigged with explosives and ready to blow! What? You're gonna blow this whole place up? Oh, don't worry about me. I made sure that I've got an escape route. The rest of you, though, you're gonna be buried deep among the rubble. You've had your fun. Now it's goodbye. <laughs> Uh, my paper charm! Where's my paper charm? Oh, I'm sorry. Are you looking for this? Yes, that's... It. But when did you... I snatched it earlier, to stop you from doing anything hasty. Why, you... Now you're going to betray me? You're one to talk. What about burying everyone here? If you ask me, that sounds like you've already betrayed our agreement, no? <sighs> Just give it here! You done talking now? Huh? You sure? Great. Cause I'm done listening! Yeah. <sighs> Great work, Takuya. You arrived in the nick of time. Stay away from me! Uh huh? I said stay away, or I'll tear the paper charm! Hey, oh, okay, okay, uh, fine. Just calm down. What are you doing? Just because I won't let him blow this place to bits doesn't mean that I won't do it myself. Unless you want to get buried, you should leave this place now. Take everyone here and get out! <laughs> you won't go through with it. If you were that cruel, then why bother protecting every person you've come across, huh? I'm not here to reason with you. Go! Just get out of here! This sacrifice is mine to make. Mine alone! Why couldn't you just stay out of it? No one needs to sacrifice themselves. All right, then you tell me. What am I supposed to do? I've tarnished our Oni pride and abandoned our ancestors' oath. Only sacrifice can restore my pride now. I chose this path so I could provide for my fellow Oni. I was ready to die from the very beginning. This is between us, Blue Oni. But you... If it wasn't for you, everything would have worked out perfectly. They're here. We won't let them slip away this time. Uh-oh. There's nowhere else to run! Hey, Tenryo Commission! I'm the one you're looking for. I did it. I'm behind everything. Arataki Ito is innocent. You're the ones in charge of detaining criminals in human society, right? I'm sure you can tell who the criminal is here. Huh? It's like he's trying to reenact the fairy tale! Sacrificing himself for the Crimson Oni! Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. It's me you've been looking for, and here I am! How are you ever gonna report back without capturing me? <sighs> Stop fooling around, Ito! Listen, Takuya. Sacrificing yourself won't solve anything. Your sacrifice can't protect me or your fellow Oni, and giving up your life isn't going to make theirs any longer. Sacrificing yourself is one way to escape your fate, but the only one you'll be setting free is yourself. Listen to me. You want to be the tough guy, huh? Well, this is the coward's way out. Don't let your sacrifice stain our Oni pride. <sighs> the Blue Oni have been scraping the bottom of the barrel all these years, so let's give them a new beginning. We've made mistakes, but we can make up for them. Fate hasn't been kind to the Oni? Well then, let's tear it up and start over! But before any of that can happen, you need to get yourself behind me and forget about all that self-sacrifice stuff. Now let's go. But we're not done talking about this. Uh, Takuya!
I'll take care of this. There are still people in danger. Go, help them. What? <laughs> hey, I got this. Come on! Forget about me! Just go! It's what I deserve! Ah, oh, shut up, would ya? That's gonna hurt tomorrow. Ugh. What's up with the looks on your faces? I said we'd be okay, didn't I? I'm sure I'd be looking a whole lot sharper right now if it wasn't for that brutal bean attack of yours earlier. Why? Why would you do this for me? I'm the guilty one here. I don't deserve this. You taught us that it was okay to abandon family in need. I just wish you'd come to find me sooner. If you knew about me all along, then you should have come and asked me for help. I never would have dreamed of turning you away. The blue Oni disappeared so that they wouldn't bring trouble to the Crimson Oni. If I came to you for help, wouldn't that just undo everything the blue Oni have done? Not to me. I've always respected the blue Oni for their sacrifice. Nothing they did was in vain. It's only because of them that we have survived to see today, and built a world where Oni and humans can live side by side. Honestly, everything that I have now, I owe to the Blue Oni. And let me tell you, the Inazuma of today wouldn't see you as a villain just because of the color of your horns. You say all that, but... In spite of everything, you're barely getting by. <laughs> That's just how I roll, man. You remember the pack, don't you? We're not supposed to suck up to the humans. We're supposed to earn their respect. Every member of the Arataki gangs had a tough time trying to fit in. Take Akira, for example. He snores like you wouldn't believe. Or Genta. He's got a serious temper problem. And Mamoru? Well, he's colorblind. Even Granny Oni. She got that name for taking me in as a kid. We're all rejects and outcasts in some way, but we don't care. You want to talk about pride? Well, in our gang, we're proud to welcome anyone who's been through adversity with open arms. But... I... Ah, don't worry. The Arataki gang's already a bunch of misfits. You really think you can cramp our style? We've dealt with the Kairagi and the people they took captive. I assume the two of you are finished talking. Takia, based on the findings of our investigation, I hereby announce that you are officially under arrest for forceful seizure of people and property. Please do not attempt to resist. All stolen articles will be reclaimed. That means we'll be seizing all the goods you passed on to your kin. No, please don't. Without those goods, they'll... It's all right, Takuya. Those goods never belong to us anyway. Don't worry. I'll help take care of your kin. Now that I know the situation... I'll personally make sure they never suffer again. Might want to put your grand plans on hold there. You're under arrest too, for numerous assaults on the Tenryo Commission officers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I guess I forgot about Case. My boys will take good care of the Blue Oni. Yeah, we've already arrested them too. Oh, right, yeah, uh, uh... <sighs> That's what they get for resisting the Tenryo Commission. Yeah, I guess it's up to you then, Traveler. Could you be a pal and tell Granny Oni about the Blue Oni situation? <sighs> thanks. And thanks for sticking with me to the end. Once I'm out of the slammer, I'll find a way to make it all up to you. As for you two, lending them your aid when you knew full well they were in the wrong means that the culpability extends to you too. But 
Given your unique circumstances, and in light of the complexity of this case, we won't press charges this time. <laughs> Sorry for the trouble. Hey, wait! Are unique circumstances? Are these guys like a, a, a big deal or something? Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Because I was going to say, you know, like, I, I'm kind of a big deal myself, <laughs> you know? Yeah, all right, uh, see you next time. Whenever that'll be. Ah, yes. That does sound like my Ito. So... Did they take Uncle Ito away? Yes, they did. But don't be too upset, Duck. But the fact remains that he still helped us. Yeah, I knew it! Uncle Ito helped us, and he's awesome! Now, don't get any ideas, Daisuke. Ito is a far cry from awesome. He still caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. If you ask me, I'd say he's like one of those little Oni Kabuto you kids are playing with all the time. Though he looks fierce on the outside, he has a kind heart. He's not a delinquent, but he'll never back down from a fight. Uh, I don't really get it, but it sounds like a compliment. I can't wait for my next beetle fight with Uncle Ito. Thank you, Granny, for taking care of our little boy. I hope that Ito and his friends will be released as quickly as possible. Yes, you needn't worry. The officials in the Tenryo Commission will certainly exercise sound judgment. It's time we started heading back. We'll be sure to visit again soon. Ah, I'm glad that everything was resolved in the end. Things were looking quite dire, but now the future looks bright. Wonderful, wonderful. As for the blue Oni, just leave them to me. If there's one thing an old granny like myself can do, it's caring for others. Do you need our help? <laughs> no, no. Go on ahead. I'm sure you have other adventures beckoning. Besides, once Ito is released, he'll be here to help me. Oh, yes. And you know what? I think that's what makes him adorable, wouldn't you agree? <laughs> he does whatever he puts his mind to. He's sincere, brave, and determined. Back when I took him in, everyone thought I was most unusual indeed. They started calling me Granny Oni. But I've never been ashamed of this name. On the contrary, I'm quite proud of it because Ito is my pride and joy. A long, long time ago, in a village lost to time, there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best of friends. The crimson oni wanted to be friends with the humans, so the blue oni played the role of the naughty kid. And then he left living happily with the humans, but in his heart, he wanted to bring the blue oni back home. The crimson oni didn't know where to find the blue oni. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. He found many traces of the blue oni, but the more he found, the clearer it became. The blue oni was hiding on purpose. So just as the blue oni had once done, the crimson oni left him a letter. Dear Al, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. I want all my friends to be there. That means you too, Al. If you don't want to meet me, you can just watch from a distance. The blue oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire and longed to join in. But though his stomach rumbled, the blue oni remembered the oath of old and kept his distance. 
Suddenly, he jumped. The Crimson Oni was right behind him. <laughs> hey, you're finally back. Come on, I'll introduce you. It's time everyone met my best friend. Wondering about that too, huh? Now that we have some time on 